Hi, today I'm going to talk about this step down and step up voltage converter. This particular one's a voltage conversion company and it's an MWE112 which is rated up to a thousand watts. Step down voltage converter would be something that was used in somewhere like the UK to power something from a country with a lower voltage like uh, the US, Canada, Japan or a lot of the Caribbean countries. The step up converter would be exactly the opposite. You would use that in somewhere like the US or Canada to power something from Europe or the UK. And this particular version of a voltage converter is both, or well, it has a switch anyway that will allow it to be both things. It's kind of easier to make them like that in a sense. Although you do get converters that are just step up or just step down. The way you change it, and if you can see that very well, but there's a little red switch on the back there. Currently it's set to 220, which is the voltage in the UK, where I am now. If I wanted to go and use it in the US, then I would just flick that switch up. Now it says 110. There's also a fuse on the back, a fuse holder. Uh, this is designed to protect your equipment, so if anything does go wrong, the fuse will blow. Simple glass fuse, this particular one's a 10 amp because it's a 1000 watt converter. Very easy to replace and they come with two spares. At the front you can see you've got two universal sockets. Um, a lot of people get confused by this, so I just want to prove to you in this video now that these are truly universal sockets. That's the kind of plug that you get in the UK, Ireland, um, Gibraltar, Malta, Hong Kong, a few other places. You can see that fits perfectly. That's a US two pin plug. You also get these in, um, in China, um, Japan, a few other countries. A US three pin plug which is basically the same kind of thing but with a, a round earth plane as well. And this is a Shuko plug, you get this in a lot of European countries, France, Germany and so on. So you can see all the plugs fit. So you've set it for step down what else do you do? Well, very simple. You switch it on. It'll make a low humming noise, and the larger versions of this converter may make a sort of bong noise. That's perfectly normal. That's the copper coil inside the machine that's actually doing the converting, just starting itself up. Very, very simple device. You can use both sockets at the same time if you want to, but you've got to be careful not to overdo the wattage. So it's rated for a thousand watts. So if you plugged in two things which were a thousand watts, um, the converter wouldn't be able to cope with it. It would blow its fuse. But two things which were 500 watts would be, in theory at least, absolutely fine. In actual fact, it's not quite that simple. It's a very, very good idea to consider the rating on a voltage converter as being a bit like the top speed on a car. So although it will do a thousand watts, it won't really comfortably do a thousand watts for a long period of time. It would get warm, maybe cut out. So another thing to consider when you're thinking about which voltage converter you need is how long the thing that you need to power is likely to be used for at a time. Another thing to consider is uh, that often um, manufacturers can be a little bit vague about what the actual wattage is because nine times out of ten it doesn't make any difference. People just plug it into the wall and that's that. Things that produce heat, like hair dryers, hair straighteners, um, some cooking equipment, it's really sort of not perhaps a good, such a good idea when it comes to a voltage converter, because things that produce heat often use a lot more electricity than you think they're going to. Hair straighteners are a particular one. Often on hair straighteners, the manufacturer will put something like 50 watts or 35 watts. That's the running wattage. 
what they don't put is the wattage that the hair straighteners use in getting up to temperature. So some hair straighteners can use 800, 1200 or even more watts in that initial heat up period and you've got to cover that as well. Hope you found this useful.